Hello my lovelies, a cold queen here. So I finally watched the stream from yesterday. I missed it yesterday because I woke up too late. Um, but yeah, so May 12th is the official date. Super exciting. I took lots of notes, as you can see, all about it, and I got screenshots. So I'm going to have it on this one. Um, the first thing I wrote down is they said don't skip the cutscenes. They're really good. Um, they worked really hard on them. There's Easter eggs in them. They're gonna be awesome. This next picture, I just thought was cool, and I took a screenshot of it because they teamed up with like a local animal shelter, and they're like supporting them, and they went on World Pet Day or whatever to go over there and work with the animals and take them for walks and interact with them so that they could get a better feel of how to integrate that into the game. I just thought that was really cool and really cute. Um, this looks like it's going to be, you know, like the little picture that you can see when you go to download it. And there's three characters they're showing right there. The first one with the red hair, her name's Hannah. And in her order, there's a dog involved with a neighbor's cat. That's all I got about her. Um, the next one in the middle, his name's Alan. He's a vet with a cat named Oakley, who's, um, he saved Oakley's life. He's friends with the main character, who is Morgan, who's kind of, they said, throughout the DLC, so he's sort of the main character of the DLC. And then there's the old lady, who is the Seventh Order, and she has two cats. She used to maybe be a school teacher, and she's very strict. So those are those three characters. Um, right here is Morgan. So Morgan's the main character. His name is Morgan Williams. He was an accountant before he retired and then became a freelance writer. He did a report about stray pets in his area and the numbers scared him so he developed Morgan's pet care and he's in two orders and in the last order as well. The two orders like in the beginning and then one towards the end. Um, let's see, did I get a, I don't think I got a picture of the door flaps, but they have door flaps for cats and dogs. Um, you don't need to open the doors for them to go to the bathroom. Uh, it's on exterior doors only, and it's only on new doors that they're adding. It's not going to be added back to the old doors. Um, there's no furniture renovations like Luxury DLC, but they do have something on the horizon for Luxury DLC. So they said they'll talk about that later after the Pets DLC comes out. Let's see what is. So this cute picture. Like they said, it's an Easter egg, obviously, of The Lion King, where Simba gets held up. Um, I just thought this was super cute, so I took a screenshot of it. <gasps> Sorry, my bra strap is fucked up right now. And then, it's another one where they have, you know, still the Lion King theme with all the animals around, jumping up and down, celebrating, and shows, you know, all the different kinds of animals, cats and dogs, that you can get. Um... Let's see, what's this next one? Just another cute picture, making a friend. Well, then I know you can't really see the dog because my face is over it, but there's the doge, there's the kitty, and there's another little kitty in the background. Um, I guess there's five color variants for rabbits. I know this is kind of out there. I don't know if I, again, I can't remember what I took pictures of. So as we go through, I'm gonna be reading my notes and talking about the pictures. Um, there's five color variants for the rabbits. You can't directly choose the colors. It's like you go to the adoption center and you can adopt pets. Um, they said, you know, you can keep adopting rabbits until you get the color pattern that you want, but you can't just choose it. Um, you can give the animals names. There's special characteristics for cats, dogs, and rabbits, like lazy, neat, so you have to, like, bathe them more and stuff like that. Uh, there isn't a trait that's overpowered. There's no OP traits that are gonna, you know, that you should be aiming for. Um, pets are with you at your office, and you can take cats or dogs to your jobs. You can take multiple, which is exciting. Um, on the jobs, your animals don't have needs, so they don't need to go to the bathroom. You don't gotta worry about playing with them or feeding them or anything like that, bathing them. All that is out the window when you're on jobs, so you can focus on the job. Um, the dogs that have the helper trait will help carry paint cans and things like that that kind of assist you a little bit throughout your job. There's going to be 11 new orders. 
which unlocks the, obviously the purchasable property afterwards. So 11 new orders, 11 new houses that we get to renovate. Fucking sweet. Um, there's, you know, the new environment around the houses. There's train, there's eagles in the sky, there's the fireflies, there's butterflies. Um, they, someone asked how long it would take for the animals to grow in game. Apparently, all the animals besides cats and dogs come as adults, so they're not going to be like little tiny guinea pigs that get bigger. Those are adults to begin with, um, but the cats and dogs kind of grow based on how much you interact with them, how much you play with them, bathe them, feed them, let them sleep and take naps, etc. So it's really up to you how long it takes for your pet to grow up. Um, They'll only grow if requirements are fulfilled and they have slept a certain number of times. That was the answer. Um, there's more... Someone asked about if there was more colors coming in game. And they said there may be more wall paint colors. They had to get back to them. Sorry, I know this is all like random, but I'm just going down my list. Um, they're planning another update after Pets DLC. When Pets DLC comes out, it's going to be $14.99 on Steam, and there'll be a discount when it launches. Get in there early. Um, there's not a pre-order, which kind of sucks, because I really wanted to pre-order it just so I can, bam, download it, and not even have to worry about purchasing it, but that's okay. Um, let's see, what's the next picture? <gasps> Playing with a doggy. So this is um, the tug of war, and they said that there's two different modes for tug of war. The first one... It's just like playing with your pet and then the second one is like a competition with your pet tug of war which i think sounds kind of cool and really fucking cute um this is a picture of you giving them a bath uh blow drying them bathing them uh you can there's certain toys so you can play fetch with your dog they said the dog won't always bring it back but sometimes they will his toys playing with the kitties inside the house you know, one of those little fishing buddies. Petting the cats, so you can obviously pet the animals. Um, here's the rabbit. So this, I did get a screenshot of the rabbit. So like I said, there's the five variants. We can only see this one here. But super cute. They're so chonkers. It makes me so happy. Ah, look at the little guinea pig enclosure. How fucking cute is this? They said they wanted to make the enclosures like big so that the little animals had space to move around and you could really, you know, feel the, I don't know, environment or whatever of the animal. So, like, this guy's got the tubes and all these ramps and toys and this little water thing to drink from. Adorable. Um, this, they added an attic hatch that you'll be able to... I think they're trying to integrate it into the old houses, but in the new houses, when you're renovating, you're able to add that into the ceiling to get up to the attic or up to the next floor. Um, I don't know. Somebody asked if there was going to be variants of it, and then they didn't give an answer. So I'm not sure if there's going to be variants or if it's just this one, but it looks cool. This is what it looks like when it's open. So it folds down just like the ones you see in movies and stuff like that super cool um this is the paint in the ceiling so basically you can paint just one block you can paint nine 25 49 whatever it is i tried doing the math out by drawing the little squares um and then i don't know if it expands from there to be like the whole ceiling or if the square just gets bigger and bigger we'll see in game because i saw them you know here's it spreading out and getting bigger but I didn't see after it got to like the 49 one. You can switch the doors, like you can switch windows now, so you can get rid of the front door, pick whichever one you want, and put it in. So they chose this cool new door, which looks kind of like this. Um, I think that's super cool. So they said it's just like the windows, you just click wherever you want it and you can add it in. The string lights. These are super cool, and I have another picture towards the end that goes along with these string lights. But basically, you can put them anywhere, you choose how much, uh, I don't know, can't think of the word, what did I write down? The length, the tension 
That's what I was thinking. The tension of the rope, the length of the rope, and the colors. So the colors one is what I have pictures of after. Stick around. It's super cool. Um, so this is just after you have some hang, hung. You can see what it looks like. It looks so freaking cute. This is a an old picture, or not old picture, a picture of a, you know, a house before you clean it up. Notice at the bottom, over 700 new items. Holy shit. That's so fucking many and I'm so excited. Um, this is the room afterwards. So like this, they changed it. Or maybe that's a different room. I'm not even sure. Yeah, it's got to be a different room. But I just thought... It was super cute seeing how cozy they made the rooms after cleaning it and everything like that. Here's a couple of pictures um, just showcasing the lights and some of the cozy furniture, etc. Added in. You can see the kitty cat in one of the rooms. Like I said, May 12th, it's coming out. This was in the dev vlog, so I just took a few screenshots and added that because they went over it at the end. Get little cute little new cat beds. There's pictures of the different dogs. I don't know exactly what they're doing. I can't remember. I try my best, people. I try my best. Fucking birds. Look at how good those birds look. For real? Like, seriously. They look amazing. Uh, I didn't get a picture of the fish. You can sort of see them right at the bottom of the picture. They looked amazing, too. Look at the fucking colored lights! They have every color, so you can really choose like the whole vibe and feeling of the room now. Wicked cool. They said the yellow is the coziest. Just an FYI. Um, here's so some play testers got to play already, and here's a couple of rooms that they've made. Um, they said, one thing I thought was interesting, they said they look for playtesters about two times a year, so look on their social media for that, for when they're recruiting. I'm locking that in my brain, lock that shit in your brain, because that would be amazing. Um, let's see. Perfect, so we're back to the beginning. So I'm going to go through the rest of my notes real quick. Um, there's special bats for dog, cats, and rabbits special toys for the dogs and the cats. They were aiming for ranch style, nature, cozy style. The, um, doo -doo -doo. They got the new cat bed. There's 10 breeds of dogs and 10 breeds of cats. The console, they're working on it. They said it's really difficult working, not difficult, but there's so much paperwork and legal things they have to go through with Microsoft and Sony that it just takes longer. So console players please be patient they're working their hardest on it um, there's no limit to the amount of pets right now that you can bring to the jobs but they said they're going to implement a limit because you shouldn't like people in real life shouldn't have 20 dogs because you can't really take care of that many dogs and give them the time and attention that they need so they said they are going to put a limit but currently there is not a limit um, Somebody asked about slanted windows, and they said that they really liked that idea for, like, in the attic, which I thought was a really cool idea, too. But they're, they're going to look into that. Um, they said they will add additional quests to other DLCs, and they kept mentioning luxury DLC. So they're going to be working on that, and they're also still working on the farm DLC. So they're going to, I think, send out more surveys and questions after the pets DLC comes out to talk about that and try to figure out what the community wants and how to make it the best it can possibly be. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope this was informative for you guys. I love this game and I loved watching the stream and seeing the, you know, some of the team that works on this game and how passionate they are about it. Because, um, you know, it's about as passionate as I am. Like, I fucking love this game. And I know if y'all are still watching, you fucking love this game. So, oh, I can't wait. May 12th. Super exciting. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.